Hello everyone, um, I wanted to do a video talking about the Yuzhan Vong, who, for those of you who don't know, they're the main antagonists of the New Jedi Order books. So a lot of people, have a, ha, they hate the Yuzhan Vong, EU haters especially, they just say, oh, you know, they don't feel like Star Wars. Um, they are, they feel more like something from Warhammer or, or Lord of the Rings, which, um, I don't really have a problem with. It sounds to me like you're more close-minded, that you just want X-Wings and Empire, original trilogy, that's only Star Wars. You know, just because it's different doesn't mean it doesn't feel like Star Wars. They are really weird, but that's what makes them interesting. They're so different. Um, and, you know, um, that's going to lead into what I'm going to say next. Uh, one of the th biggest criticisms I have personally of the Expanded Universe, you know, don't get me wrong, I love the Expanded Universe. I think it's superior to what Disney's doing with Star Wars right now. But... The first couple dozen dozen or so books that take place after the Return of the Jedi, or yeah, after Return of the Jedi, they involve the New Republic fighting the Imperial Remnant. And you know, that makes sense as a conflict. And the the Imperial Remnant is always kid or usually tries to kidnap the Solo Twins, um, or some Imperial Warlord comes out with some just, just some big super weapon even more destructive than the Death Star. And there's only, like, a certain amount of times you can do this before it starts to get stale. And um, that's also another thing uh, EU haters also like to criticize about the EU too, but and they're like, yay, they got rid of the EU, so now they can do something new. But what's really funny is with the sequel trilogy, they're doing ex the exact same thing. Imperial Remnant versus New Republic. And then they have a giant super weapon. When they did New Jedi Order, it was such a fresh, breath of fresh air from that conflict. We finally had a new conflict and a very alien one at that. Um, I read the first few chapters, maybe the first uh, 100 pages of the New Jedi Order books, and so far the Vong are just creepy. And they're interesting too, their technology. I think the concept of um, civilizations using organic technology um, is really interesting. The now I won't really say that much more because I don't want it to, I don't want this to turn into a review of New Jedi Order. I'll review the book when I'm done with it. But like I said, they were an interesting new threat, and it kind of makes sense that you know they're force resistant because we can't have something that can so easily take on Luke's Jedi Order. Um, and a lot of problem. A lot of people have the problem, have a problem with the Force, not being in the Vong. Honestly, because they say that contradicts. Oh, the Force is in all life. It's it's in every single life form. Well, you know, you people seem to have no problem with the Salamiri, who can push back the Force. So. You know, I honestly have no problem with it because I think the EU did explain this why the Vong don't have the force in them and if you have no problem with something um, being void devoid of the force then how come you have no problem with um, Mitra Surik the Jedi exile being cut off from the force if 
she can be a void of the force for like or devoid of the force for like 10 years then why can't the Vong um, not be devoid of the force so and the fact that George Lucas approved of this it shows me that it doesn't go against his vision whatsoever in fact the Vong were originally supposed to be dark side force wielders but George Lucas himself made them change it to being force neutral so again this is in George Lucas's vision so I don't have a problem with it so what do you think of the Vong do you think they're a great villain you hate them uh, let me know in the comments so have a good day people um, Iron Inquisitor over and out